but my dad was born and raised in Nigeria okay. so like for him he's a Yoruba man yeah, yeah. Um, but in terms of lineage yeah I am part of it. Okay. And is that what people associate yeah I, I yeah so like, like pretty close to like they're closer to Ghana than we are so okay. do you understand okay. so because a lot of people look oh, at me yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of people look at me and think I'm either Ghanaian, South African, or like East African type of thing. But no, I'm West African, but part of the East. What was my government name? T God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, last but Lagos State. What do you mean? Don't know, don't Lagos know, State know. Traffic Management Agency or Association, which one is it? Authority. Authority. <laughs> Neither, but. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> I like my niggas medium ugly. Well, like Biggie. No, not that's like Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually. No way. Sit. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I like my niggas medium yeah, ugly. Yeah, boy. No, definitely not a Twitter feminist. Um, I saw the funniest tweet yesterday. Was it the day before? Where someone was like, Nigerian men are disgusting. And her fellow female was going after her. And she made a comment like, the com I can't remember what the comment was, but she ended up saying like the girl that made the initial tweet was part of Bitter Leaf FC. <laughs> and then a man innocently just came to lol at the Bitter Leaf FC and she attacked him as per Nigerian men are disgusting. So that type of feminism I don't subscribe to because I think that's trash. That's not real feminism. Yeah. That's just yeah. some certain women being pick me's. I can't stand a pick me. Uh, yeah. Yuck. Yeah. Nasty. I can never raise a daughter that's a pick me. Ill. Yeah, I mean, yuck. Yeah, nasty. Me, Do you understand? Um, so, yeah, like equality across the board. I'm here for it, but not Twitter. I'd call it growth, but applied pressure. That's not a good title. It's a great title. Siobhan Bell. <laughs> Love her. I grew up dating women. Everyday man's on the block. Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> so I grew up dating real men. You probably, probably used to stash, stash some God forbid, it was never me. Never me. I was, I was, do you know what? I was never that kind of girl. Okay. They knew, they knew. If police come and knock you. Yeah, T won't say anything, mm -hmm. but she's also not going to hide me. Yeah. Don't run to my house to hide in my wardrobe. Yeah, Don't ask me to hold anything. Never me. But yeah, I used to date like roadmen coming up, like equal opportunity data, yeah. all types of roadmen, all um, Is there sectors. A lot of different types? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, all sectors of the, all sectors of the roadmen economy. I used to date. It's a nerdy roadman. I used to date. There's a butcher. Yeah. 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 Track you guys. Yeah. yeah. To the, to the to the the sweet, guys, like to all the... like equal opportunity yeah. program there but as I grew up I said I had to look at myself and I had to say babe what do you want in your life do you want a stress-free healthy life and I said yes so I stopped dating women okay. yeah so who do you date now yeah um civilians no do you know what I, I, I can't like I found that men who like work nine to fives or like aren't creative in any way because you know there's some guys that work nine to five but they also have like that yeah, creative side yeah. as a side hustle. Men that aren't creative don't actually understand my lifestyle. They never get it. And my lifestyle isn't even that crazy now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand? So, imagine what you are. Yeah. so yeah. as it gets and I and I honestly find that a lot of men 
aren't comfortable with letting the women in their life shine. Mm. I, I think that's ridiculous. So it's very like it gets sticky and I don't like sticky situations. The Alternative Network.